and that's what happened to me. Early this year, I promised myself that I would get more serious about making YouTube videos. Motivated, I made a video and posted it. It was better than expected, so I treated myself with a day off to play video games, and that turned into two days. Two days into three, three into four, then I was lost. I tried to make another video but stopped halfway, thinking that video wasn't the best. And that's when procrastination took hold. I couldn't understand what stops me from progressing forward until I look around in my room. It's a slow in paradise when the world's on fire. Look for my eyes. I realized that my physical surrounding can affect my mental. And that's exactly what's happening here. I'm not allowing myself the space to start being productive. So I told myself, no more. It is time to start from the foundation by getting this place tidy. And that is my everything rack. Here I have my computer station. I have my background come whatever that is and that's supposed to go a little bit that will be our main thing to do and on this side we have Nook a small table where I use to unbox stuff and guitar and trash Part of my rack lie boxes of large products that I've bought. Part of it to be used again when I move out in the future. And the other parts are boxes of things that I still own. It is useful when I decide to sell them or when I pass it down to someone else, usually my siblings. To me, if something can be utilized better when it is in someone else's hand, I tend to let go of my belongings, especially if it's to family members. So I've got a little bit of work done. The table here cleaned up. Some work to be done here. Top part is done, so the next part would be these three sections. Underneath this thing and on my desk, as well as everything else on the floor. Onwards. My desk is San Arini. I used to have a smaller one and decided that it is not deep enough to have both my keyboard and book on the table. I also wanted to have more space on my table so that it's not cluttered. So I bought a new one, this one that you're looking at. It's not only deeper, it is also way wider than the old one and unfortunately with the expanded real estate. I developed a habit of leaving things on the side of my desk. Well, it solved the keyboard and book situation. Unfortunately, the clutter situation has become worse. So I'm glad to make it spacious again. Next up is the three sections of my storage rack. 
Over the years, I have bought way too many things and accumulated a lot of boxes. I guess now is the time to sell some of the stuff, give some of them away, as well as recycle things that are no longer useful. The less accessible part of the rack, i.e. the top and the bottom most sections, are for the things that I use least often. Those are for product boxes, bags, toolboxes, and yoga mats. I know, I'm saying that I don't use the yoga mats often. Finally, on to my backdrop. I call this the backdrop because I used to stream and this was supposed to be my backdrop for my streams. However, after getting a child and moving here, I've not had time to stream, which also explains why I have an acoustic rock wall panel resting on this sideboard. And to be honest, I really like this section of my room. I've tried to keep it uncluttered most of the time and it has kept me sane. Thankfully. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You and I live you. For this wall panel, I decided to use 3M's common strip. From my research, I think it can handle the weight of this soundproof panel. My idea is to nail one side of the strip on the back side of the panel. Stick the strips together and then fix it on the wall. So, I've forgotten two crucial parts of the process. One, I have to clean the surface of the wall of the dirt. And second, I was supposed to stick the other half of the strip on the wall and leave it for an hour before fixing the panel on the wall. And here it goes. And it worked. Now that the wall panel is fixed, it is time to redecorate my sideboard, aka my backdrop. I think that's it. We're done. I learned a few things while cleaning my room. First, the mess in my room can really get to me mentally. 
Seeing this space clean really cleared my mind, probably due to the absence of looming feelings telling me that I have to tidy up. Secondly, the acceptance that the room can never be 100% tidy all of the time. But at least now I know that everything I own has its own home. And that I can easily keep and find them where they are supposed to be at. Finally, I understand that this alone is not enough to combat procrastination. However, it is a good start. And like everything in life, a small step forward is all we need as long as we keep taking steps forward. <laughs>